Uh, these basically would be like uh, field, field screening type testing. We had the test kits are primarily uh, screening kits which would actually show presence or absence of various types of bacteria. Okay, so basically it's, it's a screen, you can't confirm anything? Like if, if somebody found, say, a bacteria? Yeah, if, if we did get a positive on that, then naturally uh, that particular company or individual would, would follow verification processes, you know, further uh, down the road. Okay, um, so it's on the spot, right? Yeah, like absolutely, rapid absolutely. How rapid is it? That's what we call a flash check. Uh, we have basically three detection kits and a fluorometer. The fluorometer basically uh, can be done like uh, you get test results in probably like uh, 10 to 20 minutes. And with the field, with the field test kits, uh, which are for surface or actual products, you're dealing with probably uh, maybe a 20 minute uh, cycle that, that to run through the test. Okay. So in the context of somebody's quality management or HACCP plan, mm -hmm. would this be something that they would do, say, to verify, to make sure sanitation practice, for example, was working properly? And then oh, uh, absolutely. And you could use it for actually testing equipment surfaces uh, or products. And basically, the fact is, is that uh, I know you'll be asking me questions about further other types of technology. Some of those basically take could take as long as like 48 hours or longer. Uh, costs probably, you know, uh, our tests, uh, the field test kits roughly are about like four dollars per sample, whereas some of these other ones probably run hundreds of dollars. Yes. Plus, you have to have the laboratory support technicians and all that. So, if you if you really look at and you're a company that uh, is looking at your your bottom line, if you can screen out, uh, you know, uh, have screening of various products early without having to run all of them through the expensive laboratory processes, then it's it's a big savings to the bottom line. And it will also provide the same, uh, you know, uh, safety standards that all the consumers are looking for. Okay, so it's just as accurate, just as sensitive? Yeah, the accuracy that we've been running into now uh, runs between 92 and 98 percent, so we usually use a figure of 95 percent. And we've actually had uh, tests run uh, by Michigan State University, University of California, Davis, and we're working with the California Department of Public Health Laboratory to actually verify that some of those are actually that close. Okay, have you considered maybe AOAC or anything? AO, AOAC uh, certification is in process now, and uh, basically I would say it's, it's fairly imminent. And you think the demand for this method will increase greatly after it gets through this? Yeah, I, th I think the more credible uh, the product is with verifications and stuff, naturally it's going to be more appealing to someone to, to purchase that. And based on the efficiency of the increase? In Absolutely. Price. And so, you know, this is a, a faster, more economical, and if the accuracy and everything works out the way that we're looking at, and we do get the various type certifications, should be a big hit. Okay, great, <laughs> great. All right, thanks very much. You're welcome. 